Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a grand solar minimum update Saturday, September 3rd, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time 2022. There is currently an earthquake swarm in the Tiernus Fracture Zone, Northern Iceland. We have multiple tropical systems headed to Europe. And the big story, scorching temperatures just broke a world record in California's Death Valley. Keep calm. It's boom time. Now, the record in Death Valley was predicted years ago when we said as we enter this grand minima, we're going to see record temperatures, record flooding, record droughts, and record hail. And well, we've certainly seen that. Wildfire report, roughly 100 homes burned by the mill fire in Northern California. As the mountain fire grows nearby, now the mill fire, I'll leave you links to the official Facebook of the Cal Fire Siskiyou unit, which is covering this. And the mill fire is just west of Mount Shasta, and it's, well, quite large from Lake Shastina south to the town of Weed, where they've lost many, town, uh, many homes. So areas that are at risk are Edgewood, and there's not much else in this region. It could move uh, a little bit south to Black Butte, but the major concern is the town of Weed. What a great town indeed. So our prayers go out to the people uh, that are affected by the mill fire as another fire is, well, over 750 people are working on the Four Corners fire, which is nowhere near the Four Corners. In fact, it's in Boise, Idaho. And as of Friday evening, the fire burned 13,107 acres and is currently at 34% containment. The Four Corners fire west of Lake Cascade is still burning after lightning struck the area on August 13th. And as of Friday evening, the fire was at 13,000 acres, 34% contained. So that is looking like containment is inevitable. Now, this is the fall foliage map that shows when leaves will peak in your state if you're interested um, it's a really great interactive map on traveling to see the foliage. You can just move this slider from week to week to see where the foliage will be peak. So you want to be in Archuleta County the first or second week of October where it will be peak or just past peak or near peak. And that's where we're at down here. So if you want to get to the Rocky Mountains, the best is the first and second week of October for color. And I don't know where you live, but you can just use the interactive map to see when the leaves will change in Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus, and the south. That's usually in the first week of November. So there's your update on fall foliage. Hope you got something out of that. Now, the there are multiple tropical systems. We've got Hurricane Danielle moving to the north. We've got Earl, which is Tropical Storm Earl, which is predicted to hook here, maybe affect Bermuda a little bit. But both of these are going to head up towards... Europe, where there is currently a low pressure system, looks like a tropical disturbance off the coast there. It's going to spin around for a while, bring lots of rain to the UK, and it also looks like France is going to pick up some of this rain. And then the first Hurricane Danielle is going to come up in here and just smash into that region, moving up between the UK and France there, bringing heavy rain to the Alps. And there's that second tropical disturbance. This will be the bigger one. Take a look at that, dropping to about 960 and then 948 millibars there. So that is going to bring some much needed moisture to Europe, which has claimed extreme drought. And certainly by the second week of September, it will be a September to remember. Look at this flooding. Look at these predictions. Look at southern, maybe Bath in the UK could be picking up three feet of rain. It's insane. But the purple regions are two feet. So there will be flooding in the Alps. And, and this is in a very dry area. So once you get two feet of rain in a dry area, well, the flooding will be epic. So stay tuned for more updates on the flooding in Europe in the beginning of September. Now, the energy crisis plus a cold northern hemisphere winter will fuel the next Great Depression, according to Cap Allon. So if that's something you're interested in looking at, please check out the video. Seismic update, no quakes of note, but we do have that one quake the USGS is showing north of Iceland where there is a Tjernus fracture zone seismic Paroxysm, similar to the Reykjanes Ridge, which is still rocking. And here you can see that Tiernus Fracture Zone event. And this is all connected together through the Mid-Ocean Ridge System. So anyone's guess what's happening there out in the ocean? We could have some more volcanic activity kicking up shortly in the area of Hecla or Ostia. 
Now, we have currently re-entered geomagnetic storm, and this is due to the coronal hall, which about a day ago, day and a half ago, we predicted would cause geomagnetic storm over the next 48 hours, and certainly our prediction was correct. Now, the, uh, the coronal hall in question has now passed us, and at this position is coupled with Earth, and we're getting the full power. At the same time, we're getting some flaring up near the M range, so that's interesting because we should see a geomagnetic uptick in about five days, continuing for a week. So this coronal hull is bringing us a little extra aurora activity. So if you're up in Canada, please go outside because we just kicked it up another notch for the evening hours. So through midnight uh, into the early reaches uh, of the morning, we could be seeing low latitude aurora. So get out there and look up for goodness sakes. And while you're looking up, you might see something like this, some Sprite activity, as these are spreading worldwide, as we predicted. This phenomenon is happening weekly almost. And here, it was an incredible night yesterday in the direction of the Gulf of Lions in the Mediterranean, uh, where it this photographer arrived late on the viewpoint. Now, take a look at some of these Sprites. Let's blow this up. This is completely amazing activity here, being generated by our atmosphere Un this is unprecedented, these type, this type of activity. Could you imagine if you witnessed this, what you might think is going on? But the peak of the electrical activity favorable to sprites and other transient luminant events that followed were the same kind. And this is one of those transient luminant event, luminous events and quite luminous indeed. Now, in case you didn't know, big news, it's the annual tarantula migration and it begins in southeastern Colorado. The reason I'm bringing this up because Leah said, I just saw a tarantula. And I said, well, it's the migration, my love. And we'd love to see your tarantula pictures and videos. So please send them to the channel before you send them to Denver 7 News. So heads up and look up. We've got some space weather moving in. We've got some flaring happening from this, these, this incoming active region or this outgoing active region. I'm really not aware where it's happening now, but there is an Aurora watch. Solar wind enhancement, including periods of south po pointing BZ is stirring up geomagnetic activity at high latitudes. A period of minor G1 storming was observed. Again, boom. Oh, no, that was here, so they haven't even reported on this. And another one has been observed now. So this aurora belt's going to light up, may even be coming down here to Minnesota or Michigan or North Dakota or Montana. So go out and look up. It's crystal clear after we had some enhanced activity of some storms. If you had some enhanced electrical activity over the last couple hours, it's because of this geomagnetic activity. I got some calls in from some people that are experiencing this uptick in electrical activity, and well, we showed you the sprites, did we not? Hello, and keep keeping a close eye out for those tarantulas. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. It's good to be back. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and be a hero. Or become a Patreon and support the work we do. Just a dollar a month gets you commercial free all of our work. Be safe, we love you. And we'll see you in the morning. Mm.